first, and when I left home, I had starter trouble on my bike. So we got Napoleon, Ohio, I went to the Harley shop. They worked on it most of the afternoon. They finally gave up. I said, hey, we can get looked after out there. I know how to get started. We pulled out of the drive, hit second gear, and something made the worst awful noise you ever heard of. I tore the spine out of the drive sprocket for my belt. You know, we're 100 miles from home. Poor Trevor. So we called our kids. We said, we need help. Well, we're busy tonight. We can't come and get you. Well, exactly a week before that, we met a biker brother at an event of a bait that told us, you ever have trouble, I don't care where you're at, you call me and I'll be on my way. So we called him up. He never asked what the problem was. He said, where are you at? We told him, we said, are you busy? What do you mean am I busy? I told you I would be on my way. He came down to my house, got my pickup, my trailer. We told him how to get everything out. Came and got us. We got home about midnight that night. Loaded up, left. Next day with a smaller bike that we hauled on the trailer out to Laconia so we still could make bike week. Came home a day early to work on the bike. My neighbor guy came over and he says, what happened last weekend? I said, what do you mean what happened? Well, a biker come and got your stuff. I knew it was okay because he was a biker brother. Full beard, long hair, hair ponytail, the whole works. He said, been anybody else, I'd called the cops. <laughs> so you know, I can't tell you much happened in Laconia that year. But I knew I had a brother that rescued me, came and got me. Again.